Hey, I'm Mark Tillerson at Tillerson Consulting. Today, I want to talk about Google Shopping and Google Merchant Center mismatch value page scroll, page crawl price. Really frustrating issue. And so in this video, we want to walk through what does that mean? What causes that to happen? And there are multiple reasons why that happens. And then what we can do to fix those page crawl pricing issues to get your data approved and your ads live and getting you sales. So let's start with um, what causes this mismatch value. So remember that effectively you are submitting a feed of data to Merchant Center and that could be via an API if you're using Shopify, it could be via a text file that you're uploading, and typically it might be via an XML feed which is generated by your website. So what's happening here if we look at one specific example, what's happening is effectively we are declaring in the data we're submitting, we're declaring a price here of in euros 182.53 and if we scroll down we can see in the the final attributes what Google Merchant Centering is ending up with but then if we look at the different sources so this is what it's ending up with this is a feed coming through an FTP feed by the look of it and we can see the value the price here is 182.53 in euros okay but the price on the website is 187.95 so what's happening here is we're telling Google that something costs a price and then when it crawls the website it's finding that the price is different and Google doesn't like that so effectively if it were to allow you to do that what you're doing is advertising at a price and when the user lands on your website the price is different okay that's misleading you know it's, it's kind of misrepresenting and it's a poor experience for a user and worse still it's a poor experience for you because if you're telling me it costs 150 euros and I land on your site and it's 180 euros I'm gonna feel cheated I'm going to leave I'm gonna bounce and you're still gonna pay for that click so we really don't want these issues and neither does Google so what causes these price mismatch issues okay so a number of things I'm not gonna run through these exhaustively if you have another issue that I'm not covering in this please do ask in the comments and by the way please remember to subscribe and give us a like if this video helps you really appreciate that but let's run through a few reasons why this might happen starting with this particular website so we're going to trace this back to see where this data is coming from okay so we've got a price of 187.95 in euros so the first thing I'm going to do is go and manually check the website just to double check whether that's the case okay so there's an option on this website to change from euros and GBP and so forth. So I'm in euros just to match what the merchant center is reporting and I can confirm there's 187.95 is on the website. So Google is crawling that correctly. However, in the Omega FTP feed source, we're declaring this value. So the first thing I want to check is, is that being updated regularly? Where is that coming from? How quickly is that coming through? So the first thing I'm going to do is head to the feeds, go and check the Omega feed and I can see when was this done? So this was uploaded on November the 7th, 2022. So that's 24 hours ago. So it might be just that the feed is out of date and this might actually resolve if this is set daily, which I don't know whether it is or not. I'm going to assume it is. If this is set to run daily, then this might not update in the next hour or two, in which case this issue might be resolved and that's all perfect, wonderful, great. If it isn't, then that probably means there's an issue with how that feed is being created or how frequently that feed is being created which means it's not picking up the fresh data from the website and being included in the feed which means it's giving data to Merchant Center which is out of date it is stale it is incorrect so that would be the first thing I would check is how often is that being updated from Merchant Center crawling that feed how often is that feed being updated from the website source and that may tidy up a whole bunch of these issues so that's one option the other thing that you can get with a mismatch um, I've had in a number of cases is actually to do with how the website pages are coded. So what Googlebot does when it crawls a product page is it's looking for some data that says price. Okay, now if your website is not as clear as it might be, how the page is, how the HTML is structured, how the data is structured, you might have, for example, in my experience, I've worked with hundreds of websites with Google Shopping and Merchant Center, but one issue that I found is that there is a price and there is a sale price. And there are two values declared on the page. And the way that they are declared in the code actually is confusing to Googlebot. And what's happening is there's a price that says 150 pounds, and then there's a sale price of 100 pounds. In the feed, we are declaring the price of 100 pounds. Google crawls the web page, 
finds that £150 it thinks is the price and says, oh no, you said £100 in your feed, but it's actually 100 when I look at the website. You look at it as a human and say, no, no uh, actually it says 100 So you've got that conflict between what a human sees, which is the £100 price, the feed says £100, but Google is picking up that original, you know, how you see this with websites where you'll say it's 150 with a line through, sale price is 100 feed price is 100 human sees 100 Googlebot crawls the page and sees the 150 and you get a mismatch with that. So that can happen, in which case you need to talk to your developer, your webmaster, whoever looks after your website to try and declare that a bit more clearly. Google will not help you with that issue, by the way. It's your problem. You have to solve it, okay? So you just have to change how that is declared. That similar issue also can happen if you declare prices on the page and you show them with VAT and without. The policy with Google is if you are wherever you are in the world, if there is an inclusive price with tax, then you need to declare that price including tax. What that means if you're selling to B2B with e-commerce, that means that causes some issues with your user experience because you want to say this product is £50 because the VAT will get added later and because you're a business, you understand that VAT is going to be added and you don't care about the VAT because you're probably going to claim it back. So on your website, you want to present the value excluding VAT. That causes a problem for Googlebot. So what you need to think about there is making sure that the price, the actual price to Google is really clear and inclusive of VAT, but the how it's presented on the actual page in terms of your visuals can be the price excluding VAT. So there is a bit of a mismatch there. I have worked with websites where they've sneakily, accidentally got around this and Google was always picking up the excluding VAT price and they kind of got away with it. And then as the user went through the checkout, obviously it then increased the price by the time it added VAT. So ordinarily in that example, Googlebot would pick that up and you would get some other issues with disapproved products in Merchant Center because of that price mismatch. In this particular case, they managed to get away with it because Googlebot couldn't crawl the bit of the data or the bit of the site where the VAT was added later. So they kind of got away with it. But as I said to them, and I would say to you, if you are doing that, at some point it is possible that Google will pick that up and you will get a whole heap of disapproved products. So if you are doing that and you're getting away with that, kudos to you, fantastic, but be aware that it could come crashing down in a heap if you're not very careful. So that's effectively what is happening with those mismatched pricing. So Firstly, check that your feed is updated regularly from the crawl from Merchant Center fetching your feed. Also make sure that feed that is being used is being updated regularly from the source, from the database, from the data in your website. And then check those on page, those coding issues to make sure that it's not picking up a different value which does or doesn't include VAT, does or doesn't include euros or GBP and there's a mismatch there. Those are typically why you get mismatch pricing. But once you have fixed those, of course, go and refresh your feed, make sure that it's being updated every 24 hours on the website, creating the feed, and then uh, with Merchant Center, then fetching that feed maybe a couple of hours later. If you found this helpful, a lot of thumbs up, really appreciate that. If you do have other problems around this, please comment. We'll do another video for you, or we'll just have a Google Meet with you and, and try and understand and see if we can help you solve those issues.